Jack Tech Talks. Passionate about technology. YouTuber, geek, tech head, internet personality. Here you will find a variety of podcasts talking about the coolest products on the planet. From the newest smartphone to surprising gadgets and technology you never knew existed. It's all here on Jack's Tech Talks. Well, we're going to be talking about DJI mics today because that's what you got, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because um, yeah, I remember that coming in from the Surrey Heath show. And they said, like, Ollie's oh, booked in. I went, why hasn't he booked in for £500? Because he could have £500. That's what everyone was getting. And you put a specific price in. And they're like, kind of like, oh, I know what he wants to get now. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I didn't. I wanted to not take the mic. This is what I need. So this is what I'm going to apply for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, they were really good because I, I currently use myself. I've upgraded from the Rogue to the DJI mics mm. um, purely because I know the rogues do switch to mics now but there's lots of little things that they've got which is good mm. but the DJI is better mm. so you've got the um, the battery charging case yeah that's so handy isn't it so all day handy. long yeah. um, the magnetic's really strong mm-hmm. not very good on thick jumpers though but mm. t-shirts perfect you mm-hmm. know um, and it's they're smaller than the rogues mm. and onboard recording yep I love that. And I think some of the features is when you uh, turn the recording on, you can do it remotely through the receiver. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, as a feature, you can actually just, when it comes out, out the pack, it, they just start on recording. Mm. And that's brilliant. I've been so impressed with them. I, I really like, you know, you can use your, your phone, your DSLR, and, you know, pl- yes. plug it in and, and go. And it's, yeah. Got an audio device for everything. Audio device adding to your Zoom sessions, if yeah. you're still doing yeah. that. <laughs> or Teams. <laughs> Not tried that one yet, but... <laughs> yeah, um, and obviously I find it quite nice. I can hide them as well. So mm. when people look at the video, they go like, where's the microphone? It's so good. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, and it works with lab mics, so mm. you can have it as a mic pack. Mm. Um, I find, the only thing I find on the downfall side is like when we're, we're in an event, so the home renovation show was one of our biggest events this year, and there's so many people around, and what people don't realise, they bring their mobile phones in, and all those phones are looking for Bluetooth devices to connect to or Wi-Fi to connect to, so they're broadcasting all the time. And we found out on the DJI microphones, because they record into your um, device as well, um, we found, I found out to do onboard recording because the, every now and again I get a, a big kind of pitch sound popping up and I think, oh, that's into too much interference. I yeah. thought it was my cable to start with mm. and start realising, no, that's because that's it's too much interference. Mm. I think you noticed that with mine, didn't you? Yeah, because <laughs> I said to you straight away, like saying, um, you know, um, do onboard recording just in case you're in those large areas. Um, we Sometimes I get that from the old mic, the roads we used to use up in, uh, we do the Kami car show as well. Mm. It's just because everyone's kind of solidating in one area. Mm. Everyone's trying to take pictures and video and TikTok, you know, mm. got so much going on, so much traffic out there. Mm. No. so how are you getting on them so far yeah I, I they're so simple to use and i'm not a techie and i just need plug in and go you don't need to download any app or anything like that yeah. it literally yeah you plug it in and go and and the quality is just so good and you know when you're making videos or, or whatever like audio is so important i think it's more important than lighting i'm gonna say that right now because you can use natural light no, you know no, that's true because it used to be very much like good quality video to start with mm. and audio didn't have to be fantastic. Mm. Then it kind of changed trends going, oh, you've got to have really good audio. It doesn't mm. matter if your video sucks, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. And now it's kind of balanced now. So as long as you've got reason where you can see mm. and the audio is really good, then it, then it's brilliant. I mean, it's up my stuff anyway, a lot. Mm. Yeah, me too. Me um, too. Me too. And I quite like, um, sometimes I, I, I hold them um, and that is just as like people like, oh, what, what's that? Like, and, and just creates a bit of like, oh, grabs people's attention so you can use them like yeah. that I, i've seen i've seen another person that i follow an influence and he does it with his road the wireless wo- road mic yeah. like, well, i can do it the same with the the dji I've ones seen some of the youtubers using the lab mics that looks really pathetic because yeah. you know, it's like tiny yeah. it's like here you go look yeah. like, i think i think somebody here does that as well <laughs> i think when he was over at the um council place he was interviewing um sarah and mike so he had the little lav mic. Oh yeah, passing sometimes. it around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, trending now. <laughs> yeah. but it grabs people's attention though, so yeah. why not? <laughs> and it's brilliant, you don't have to use a receiver as well, you just have them independently recording, and mm. just go for it. Mm. So yeah, no, um, I've, I've been very impressed. And uh, I, 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 First of all, I, my friend was using it. I was like, oh my gosh, what are these? And then he showed me, showed how easy it was. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get some of these. And I, I don't have the money, but... Heard about this grant, thought I'd go for it. Jack, you helped out with that. Really appreciate it. I didn't have any help in it, honestly. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no I just remember it coming in. I thought, oh, okay. And then they, said, they actually questioned it and kind of said, um, 
what was he use that for? I suppose it's Youth for Christ, you know, mm. so he does a lot of YouTube, fun YouTube videos for them as well. Mm. So he does like a Monday, uh, good feel kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then he does fun things mm-hmm. as well, keeps all the kids entertained. You know, he's at, at my local school, he's helped my kids out in the past as well. So it's great. And that sold him. Yeah. Okay. You can have it. Good. That's good. That's what <laughs> I like to come hit. back. Voices <laughs> in, don't say anything to you, can I? <laughs> <laughs> But they are they're really good. Uh, I think they're doing the single packs now, so you got double, you got the double ones. You? Yeah, yeah, the two, charging case, yeah. which I think I think it's better to get two. Than yeah, this yeah. one because you know you want to do an interview or whatever. Then yeah, we well, got a few people on. Well, I'm going to be buying a second one because I can't. have got more presenters now. So when we're out in events, I need four now. Right. Okay. Or sometimes I get caught out when people say, "Oh, I brought my friend along to interview," and you're like, "Oh." And you got two mics. Mm. You can share one of them. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever consider doing like boom mics or anything like that? Yes, I brought boom mics. One thing I don't like about the mics on the cameras themselves is um, they they yeah they 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 look straight at you, so yeah. it's great. So long as you're in front of the camera and it's pointing in the right direction, but it does pick all the background noise behind you. Mm. Uh, I like the wireless microphones or the lav mics if mm. you've got a lav mic because you're using your chest as kind of um, like blocking the sound behind you. So yeah. if you're in an event or you got noise people behind you. Mm. You kind of use that as a sound barrier kind of thing, so mm. it gets you. And obviously, lav mic's meant to be what roughly about two inches from the chin. Because mm. uh, I noticed when we've done interviews, we've had them on the left or the right, and then when I'm videoing, I'm going, "Oh, they keep looking on the right, it's the opposite way." So you kind of lose a little bit of audio. Mm. Um, so it's easier just kind of middle. That's kind of where I kind of put it. But then women find it. It's hard on women because they wear these kind of low cut tops, and you think middle's too low down. <laughs> but, um, um, but yeah, I, I kind of always picture somewhere or say to somebody like, when you when you come for an interview, just wear like a, a, a tight t shirt or a shirt or something. We can pin a bit more closer and stuff. Mm. I like hiding it. That's the, the yes. issues I have with where do we hide on a, on a person's dress? Mm. You know, it's quite difficult. And it, and it doesn't come out muffled or anything like that. So I've not yeah. done the hiding yet, but. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of being, I put it behind the t-shirt, so that also helps with if you're outside wind, wind as well. Mm. I know they come with the wind muff bits on yes, there. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know they're better than the, the rogue ones because they actually clip in. The rogue ones just sit on, and you can easily brush them off, right. <laughs> or the wind blows them off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I love the quality. Boom mics. Um, again, it always gets background noise, mm. and I kind of always get them right. And they come with batteries, and halfway through they flat out. Or you got to uh, have phantom power on them. Uh, sometimes I find phantom power does interfere with the actual audio signal as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, like all the equipment we've got here today on the microphones, they're not phantom powered run. Uh, we had sub sub microphones to start with, mm-hmm. but because we're running down the cable and you always got your audio cable going back as well, we got interference on the cable itself. So as I upgraded to these ones, turned off the phantom power. Now I don't get no audio interf- interf- inter- interference. And it, I think it does help out decent cables as well. Right. You know, so these are braided because we're folding them in and out all the time. They can yeah. easily break and stuff. But um, I know they've brought out a new um, gadget. I think it's on start at the moment, which is um, four wireless microphones and a little, little container. You take it off, a little square cue comes out. And it's like, it's kind of the next level of podcasting. So everyone will wear wireless microphones and you just chit and chat around a table with them just pinned on you in, in the middle that records everything and it sends it to the clouds. But it's not cheap. Right. It's like two and a half grand. I thought I'd buy another set of DJI budget. microphones for that price. Yeah. Yeah. Well, four of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and you can do the same with, again, the DJI microphones do exactly the same as that pod's doing. That pod's doing, always doing is record, taking the audio, sending it to the cloud. I don't really want it sent to the cloud because I can go home and edit it anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's not doing, like the DJI microphones, you just be independent recording. I think mm. you just plug them in the USB-C, download your recording. Mm. It does it in, what, WAV, isn't it? WAV, of, yeah, high quality. Mm. Uh, job done. And that's like saving... A lot more cheap. It's not much more cheaper. Yeah. So don't buy the Kickstarter. No, don't, don't go DJI. <laughs> DJI. <laughs> and it's quite surprising because you know DJI are known for their drones and yeah. all that stuff. And I've I think they surprised co- everyone with their how good their mics are. Yeah, because it wasn't really there. I've known them always as a drone company. Yeah. And then they've gone really heavy into film. Mm. So they're doing all the big Ronin rigs for the mm-hmm. DJI, the, the, the DLSR cameras, yeah, the red cameras and stuff. Now they start producing their own cameras now. So they've got the. I think it's Ronin 4D. So it's the camera and gimbal all built into one. Mm-hmm. So it's an 8K and a, and a 6K version camera. Wow. Um, and that's really good. That's what my next my buy, to oh, buy yeah. list. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and then they started to produce the microphones. If they're in cameras, why not audio? Mm. You know? And this is their first attempt. And I think they've done a really good job of it. I think they have. I think they've really thought about it. Mm. Yeah. You know, particularly the, the battery pack. Like that is I like so, that. The, the charging pack that it comes with. Because yeah. I'm out all day. So, yeah. so back in the pack, next job I do, it's kind of ready to roll. Mm. 
no, no worry about recharging. Mm. The Rogue wasn't too bad. I could go for a whole week without recharging those. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did find after a while they did deteriorate a little while. But these ones seem to be really solid. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I f- I have one issue that I found. Yeah. Um, so I was making a TikTok and then I filmed clips, put it into TikTok. And then on TikTok, you can do audio over the top. And I thought, well, I'll use, them, I'll use the DJI mic uh, to do that. So I plugged it in. All worked. But I couldn't hear the the noise as in the audio from the clips whilst recording the TikTok on the uh, audio over. That's one fault of the camera or yeah. the phone because when you plug it in, it acts as an audio resource. Yeah. So if you can't hear anything, it turns it off. Yeah. I've noticed that when I record it and then Tammy says to me, can we play that back? Mm-hmm. So I have to unplug it. Yeah. Yeah, because I've always seen these headphones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, it'd be nice. Oh, no, that'd be interesting, actually. I never thought about it because the receiver has built-in headphones. Oh, yeah. So if you try plugging the headphones, because I haven't done that. Oh, okay, Plug yeah. the headphones into it, play it back. Oh, that's a good idea. That's probably what it's done. It's using the. It's using that as the. Yeah, yeah. if it maps the mic, it's got to map the the headphones. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try that. Okay. I never thought about that there actually. You <laughs> <laughs> I knew speaking to you, Jack, you'd find some kind of like, oh, wait, well, if you tried this, you do that. Have you done any live streams with it? No live streams yet. No, no, no that's, live streams. That's the thing I always sucked on was the audio because yeah. I think, oh, I've got to do a live stream. I've got to go back to a normal camera to do the live streams. Mm-hmm. I got the I use the GoPros. Mm-hmm. Now the GoPro used to do live streaming directly to Facebook. You can map it in there for your phone where you go. Then so- somebody in GoPro decided we'll change that feature so you have to subscribe to our subscription fee and you can have it. Right. Oh, oh my God. So you can only do live streaming to your own personal page but not to a business page you got attached. Oh. So I kinda I'll go back to my camera. I've got no decent audio on it. I've tried those cables and all sorts. Mm. And the, the iPhones can be really funny with some of the adapters. Mm. And it has been funny with the Rogue adapter. You can buy the Rogue adapter, plugs in the bottom. And that kind of didn't work either. But when this DJI came out, it's like, this is the next level. Mm. I go next level live streaming. Yeah. <laughs> and it works well. Yeah. Oh, really good. good. I, I, I used to do quite a few live streams in um, uh, lockdown days. Yeah. Um, and tried, yeah. I think I wish I had the DJI mics then because they would have just improved the quality so much. So how are we getting? Are you still doing your Mondays? Um? Yeah, we got Monday challenge. Um, we yeah, so that's with my one of my friends, a guy called Stephen, who's a, another local youth worker like myself. Um, yep, yeah, we do silly challenge videos, brighten up people's day. We have a tagline: Mondays are a challenge. Oh no, wait, what is the tagline? <laughs> I've been doing it for years and I still can't remember. Um, Oh, we hope this video is brightening up your day. Mondays are a challenge and we hope this video brings you a smile. Something on the lines yeah. of that. Um, and then, yes, on Thursdays we have faith videos as well. Um, but I also do like TikToks and other stuff as well. And um, it's How, quite how many cool. followers on TikTok at the moment? Uh, we're near to 5,000, I think, at the moment. Um, I thought you were going to say 500 then, because <laughs> where your face looked. Like, and you go, 5,000? Wow. That's good, that's good. Oh, that's very kind, very <laughs> kind. Yeah, we're, we're over 1,000 on Instagram. Yeah, 5,000 on TikTok. And then... Our Facebook finally got to a thousand as well. Actually, okay. that was like two hundred likes, or whatever it is, for a, a page. It's and then with the shorts, um, some of them have gone semi-viral, um, and um, yeah, people have liked our page now more, which is pretty. I cool. I can't work shorts out because um, Tammy did a thing uh, at my fro row in Camberley, mm. where it's just pronouncing their their tagline they've got, which mm. is written up on the wall. Mm. So it's, it's literally ten seconds of doing that. So put it up there within. The sp- Base of I reckon half an hour mm. shorts went to 3.7 thousand views wow and it's just like that's just really yeah. weird and then another time I was watching Back to the Future I've got the, one of those new Samson over projectors now mm. and uh, I now can watch it 100 inch on my wall I literally paint my wall dark grey taking the t- my old TV down that's in the bedroom now um, cinema on there I've got the Alexa speaker which gives you that nice surround sound going Sounds and I'm great. watching Back to the Future and I thought I'm going to do a quick snippet on shorts Guess what film this is? And probably on the iconic bit, we're going to guess. Mm. Again, that shot, for, literally in 10 minutes, it shot to 1.7 thousand views. Yeah. And then other videos I do, it just goes 100. Yeah. 200. Yeah. Five. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like mine. It's like mine. But if, if you put, you know, put them, you know, you make a, a minute video or anything lower than that, stick it on YouTube shorts, mm. you stick it on uh, Instagram reels, stick it on TikTok. You know, one of them is going to push it out. Yeah, yeah. It's, which is really strange. And, and I think the biggest thing as well, if you are want to get to like an influence level, it's like it, you've got to really give up your whole your time. Because mm. um, I think if you, a lot of them post daily, hourly, mm. Mm. and to get that time, I think, I ain't got the time for that. No. No, no. Just like mental. Or finding something may trend. Uh, my son was saying about maybe mix it with some of the trending music. Mm. I've done that. Still 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, 
the algorithm so hard to <laughs> to judge sometimes. Yeah, really but you is. spend a long time on a great video. Yeah. Um, you know, subtitles, background music, all that stuff, 10 views. And then you do one that took 10 seconds to film, 100,000 views or something like yeah. that. It's like, well, it's mad. Like, why? Well, my, my tech channel, basically, it's been running for like two years. So mm -hmm. I'm almost coming up to like 5,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Make a little bit of money. So it's not mega money, but it's a little bit anyway. Mm -hmm. Pace for the mobile phone. That's good. <laughs> um, but my, I find mine trends later than like currently mm. so i'll put a video up i might end up putting 10 more up and, and then say six months later they all start going in the thousands mm. so mine's kind of like a, a, um, an early burner kind of thing you know mm. burns later not not current mm. <laughs> yes yeah, i yeah. think there's quite a lot of like um too much videos out there mm. that people are finding so i need on haystack isn't it really mm. trying to fine tune and trying to find those keywords yeah what people are going to find you on it's yeah. again that's a challenge yeah you kind of need like give up your life for it <laughs> That's probably why the the, the Vogners do really well. <laughs> yeah. So what's yeah. next? What's next for you then? Oh, what's next? So it's been really cool. Some of the I was teaching a lesson on anti bullying. So we have an anti bullying yep. course that we run. Um, it's a six week course supporting a holistic approach to helping young people. Yep. And I always try and get content ideas from young people, and and bullying is quite an obvious one. Okay, what what do I do if I'm getting verbally bullied? Okay, right, these are your options. These are the stuff that you can do. So I've made a couple of videos on on bullying specifically, yeah. and then I showed them in my lesson, and then the teacher said, "This is great. I'd love to push this out to parents." So then they 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 got the links. I like I made sure it was on YouTube as well, because um, sometimes they're like, well. TikTok, I'm not too sure about that, but but we'll we'll push them yeah. both, um, and they've really really liked it. And then one of the teachers has sent me an email recently and said, "Ollie, these are great. Um, can I've got a list of topics that I'd love for you to cover?" And so she's given me a list of like That's loads really of different things, um, and so yeah, just trying to get through that list. And um, yeah, she's one of the um, well-being support staff at Kings. So, you know, she's around young people all the time hearing their problems and, and wants these videos because, you know, you can give advice and you do all that stuff, but these videos, they can be pushed out more and, and can be watched over and over again. Yeah, encourage yeah. people to save them so they can look back at them as well. So, lot, yeah. So a, lot of, a lot of youngsters are, like, in tune on the, on the, on the social media. That's mm. kind of where the mm. platform is, isn't it? And you're mm. kind of producing learning videos for them. Yeah. So, you obviously, you're looking at expanding what you do as well. So, just cover a bit what you kind of do. So, I know you do the bit on the church, you do the school bits. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So, we are a Christian youth work charity. We are based in... We mainly work in local secondary schools and we do a variety of different schools work from like giving, taking RE lessons and assemblies. Uh, we do lots of pastoral support, so one-to-one -one mentoring. We have an anger management program, an anti-bullying course, self-esteem course. Um, and then we also have like lunch clubs as well. We're very blessed that we have our own youth room at, at King's International and uh, we have students come in there every day, come and eat their lunch, safe place to hang out, yep. no talk about faith, you just come and eat your lunch and chat and feel safe. Um, yeah, so we do that stuff. We also do residentials and, and we run a youth service called The Point as well. Um, and then we do work with local churches and partner with them and run stuff together and support local youth workers and, yeah, try and, try and bring people together. And, uh, yeah, we're hoping to employ a uh, new member of staff who will be getting involved with the school's work uh, with me and then also going into two churches that, that have a heart for young people but don't have the funds to employ someone. Yeah. Um, so our hope is that we'll go, right, we've got this youth worker full-time. Um, they've given us a little bit of money um, towards it and we're paying the rest and here you go and they'll do some youth clubs and youth work and youth groups. And that's really good. That type of stuff. So, yeah, so we've actually got an interview tomorrow So for someone and, yeah. Hopefully, Ho hopefully it'll go well. Yeah, 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 and get on with you as well. Yeah. That's, that's the important bit, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did, you get, did you get any kids coming in and saying, Ollie, I'm stuck on my TikTok, can you give me a hand with it? You know? <laughs> no, they're, not, they're native to TikTok. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> they probably say he's doing it all wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they help me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, obviously, new, new microphone now. So, yeah. um, what, what do you film on at the moment? So, uh, I've got a Canon DSLR. It's a very basic camera. Um I can't even remember that it was a uh, got it off Amazon and then the lens came with it as well. Um, I can't remember actually what the lens is like twenty five to forty five mil. I don't know okay. if that's a if that, I don't know if that's standard. I, I kind of I, I had a DSR and kind of gave that up before. I like the quick like autofocus. It's really done. Yeah, I like something. It's one lens for all kind of thing. Mm. Well, I did quite a few weddings. And it's like carrying all these different lenses around. Oh, 
God yeah. in the change and I've seen photographers now they carry three cameras with a lens already yeah, on it just I know, quick I've, get out I've there. seen that I've seen that so any any kind of tech coming up now you want to sort of replace stuff with um, keep, or something you're keeping an eye on I Jane? think I think to be honest I'm, I'm pretty happy with things at the moment um, we're the room that I do some of my videos is in our youth room and it's got loads of windows. So natural light is brilliant. Mm. Um, the other day, cause it, you know, in the winter it's harder to film cause it gets dark sooner. And, uh, I can't always film during the school day cause I have young people like walk past the window and stuff and I get a bit embarrassed if they're looking at me <laughs> or, or whatever. Um, and so just getting some lights as well. So we've got some, um, soft box lights, but it'd be nice to, I've only just recently just been playing around with them. So it might be good to, Get some other lights as well. When you said that, I was kind of thinking, I could see the kids that time doing a little TikTok. Look, he's been being silly again. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you're probably training somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't be on their phone during school. <laughs> there you go, you've been told now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But no, yeah. thanks very much for coming for this podcast. No, and uh, give me an update on the bits. And we'll we'll do some more stuff for you yeah. in, the, in the coming up in the future as well. Yeah, yeah. Any tech you get changed, give me a shout. I'll get you back on air talking stuff. Yeah, thank you, Jack. And uh, yeah, I'll get you to play with that sometime soon as well oh yeah <laughs> yeah you have to invite us in actually we're coming to do a chat with you and your colleague yeah because we keep saying asking we're getting more i know i know yeah he's, we fu- need he's to get funny you're both funny together actually <laughs> we need to get that date in the diary oh definitely definitely yeah. but thank you very much that's right no Cheers. problem here at SMJ Media Group, we are a non-profit company providing fun, free content for local businesses. If you like our content and would like to support us, please visit buymeacoffee.com slash SMJ Media Group and buy us a coffee.